Hi everyone, my name is Kelly and I'm a dietetic intern at the Community Health Resource Center here in San Francisco. I wanted to make a video to provide some tips on grocery shopping during quarantine and ways to navigate grocery stores. During the time of shelter in place, it's important to reduce our exposure to others. One way to do that is to make less trips to the grocery store. The first step to minimizing trips to stores or markets is to make a plan. In the case of grocery stores, making a shopping list is the first step. This starts off by compiling a list of meals and snacks to make. When you're thinking of what to make, consider foods that freeze and reheat well. Some things like muffins, soups, breads, and stews could be things that you could freeze. These types of items are also easy to portion and can be frozen for two to three months without significant loss of quality. Planning and deciding on meals and snacks for a week or two can benefit you in several ways. First, it'll help to create a nutritiously stocked pantry that can lift some pressures off your shoulders when it comes to making meals. Secondly, it'll save you money by avoiding purchasing unnecessary items, which tend to happen when you don't have a shopping list. A list will also minimize the time you actually spend in the store, as well as reducing your exposure to others. Another step you can also take is familiarizing yourself with what is already in your kitchen including ways to incorporate items you currently have in your meal plan. You'll want to start through the refrigerator, the freezer, and also the pantry to take note of what you have in stock and what you'll need to purchase based on the meals and snacks you have previously chosen. The last step you'll want to take is to organize your trip according to the grocery store and where the section of the store and the items are located. The majority of your items may be found on the outer edges of the store, so plan accordingly. Try to purchase Perishable items last, things like meat, poultry, fish, eggs, dairy, and frozen foods at the end of your shopping trip to reduce the amount of time that they are spent at room temperature. Tip number two, buy a variety of perishable and non-perishable items. Familiarize yourself with fruits and vegetables with long shelf lives. These are ideal options to stock up on if they're available. Some of these items would include apples, oranges, citrus fruits, onions, garlic, potatoes, sweet potatoes, carrots, beets, cabbage, and winter squashes. These options are high nutrient staples that make up the base of many recipes. Storing produce in airtight containers will help them to last longer and keep them from dehydrating and becoming wrinkly. The airtight container will help keep the moisture in. Other items in the produce section that you can purchase are things like berries, bananas, tomatoes, and peaches. Don't shy away from purchasing these items. Just keep in mind that you'll most likely have to consume or freeze these items within the first week of purchase. Some ideas of shelf-stable items to purchase to keep in your pantry are things like dried or canned beans, peas and lentils, whole grains like brown rice, quinoa, and oats, canned vegetables with no added salt like green beans, artichokes, tomatoes, dried or canned fruit that's canned in 100% juice or water, as well as canned fish in water opposed to oil. Other shelf-stable items include nuts, seeds, and nut butters that you can incorporate into your snacks, and having oils available for cooking like olive oil, canola, or vegetable oils along with dried herbs and spices will help to add flavor to your meals. If you have ample refrigerator space for frozen items, these are also an option. You may also purchase fresh produce, and if it's about to go bad, don't be afraid to freeze it so that you can incorporate it into other meals later on. Many things can be frozen. Vegetables that can be added to soups later on, fruit to make smoothies, dough to make pizza, as well as poultry and seafood. The things that you can freeze and add to your meals later, the options are endless. Tip number three, be mindful of portioning and don't forget to use your leftovers. For the portioning, just because we're buying everything in bulk and we're trying to get an ample amount of food to put in our kitchen so we don't have to go to the grocery store as often, that doesn't mean that we need to eat more. We can be choosing smaller portions, using smaller plates or bowls, and following the My Plate recommendations. When you consume smaller portions, you are more likely to have leftovers. This can help to vary your meals. You enjoy the portion that you can have now, and then you should have some leftovers so that you can freeze or use later. Leftovers are very versatile. You can use leftover meats and veggies and make it into meals by cutting them up and adding them to soups, salads, or sandwiches. Or you can also add them as fillings and 
tortillas or into stuffed pita breads. The options are really endless. Items that are not frozen should be used within three to four days, as well as be reheated to a minimum internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit if they are warm food. But don't forget to enjoy those leftovers. Tip number four, your hands aren't the only things that need washing. Cleanliness doesn't stop after you wash your hands when you come home from the store. If you touched your phone while in the store, make sure to sanitize it as well as other items that were used during your trip. The same goes for fresh produce that you purchased. Even if the peel is not going to be eaten, the produce should be rinsed under running water and dried with a clean cloth or paper towel. Firm produce should be scrubbed with a clean produce brush. Things like soap, bleach, and commercial cleaning products should never be used when washing fresh produce. I hope these tips helped and remember to plan your meals for a week or two in advance and make a list of both fresh and non-perishable items to decrease the amount of times that you have to go to the grocery store. For individualized nutrition counseling and classes, refer to the Community Health Resource Center website at www.chrcsf.org or call 415-923-3155 for more information. Thanks for listening.